I just want to kind of make sure that I fully understand that perspective isn't the way that you're using it, you know, that people need to be aware of the perspective of how they see something. It's not the, you know, two point perspective, three point perspective. It's bigger than that. It's like the kind oh, of yeah. lens that you're using to yes. look at something, uh, the decisions that you're making, designing the different tonal values in your image compared to what you see and things like that. Could you speak about perspective? Yes, that's a, a, a really good question. Um, I think when, when people think of perspective in their mind, they see you know a little house with a two-point vanishing points and, and cubes, and they kind of go to sleep and say, no, man, I, I paint creatures, I don't do perspective. <laughs> and nothing could be further from the truth, because <laughs> everything that you paint in a, a naturalistic way even in an expressive way, uh, perspective is a huge, huge part of it. Now, even in looking at the image of, of you, and I'm, I'm looking at your head, and how the forms of the head have characteristic shapes because of the perspective that your head is in, uh, it's a huge part of, of everything. And even if you're doing um, organic shapes, a perspective is a gigantic part of it. Like always, the idea, for instance, uh, the example is if you are drawing a leg or a, a figure, um, don't have the eye level go through the middle of that figure. Why? Because if you're drawing tubular forms, um, you want to see the perspective on the ends of those and if you have an eye level go through the middle at some point it's straight across so you probably want to see uh, drawing a cylinder choosing because you can choose what perspective you are you are drawing something from you should probably keep both ends of that form on one side of the eye level so that both ellipses are reinforcing each other Save $100 off an annual Schoolism subscription. This means you get access to over 200 different lessons organized into over 20 different courses with access to download assignments and level up from top artists like digital painter Craig Mullins, Oscar nominees Dice Satsumi and Robert Kondo, Coco Art Director of character design, Daniel Ariega, and many, many more. Schoolism.com only has two sales a year for their online classes, so act now. This is a big one. Sale ends August 3rd, 2018. Go to schoolism.com and start learning today.